Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and uh, today I want to spend uh, time with you to meditate before the Lord. All right. Now, in uh, Matthew chapter four, verse twenty and twenty-two, we read there they immediately left their nets. Uh, that's uh, verse twenty and verse twenty-two, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. And so when Jesus said to his disciples, come, follow me, they immediately left everything behind and they said, yes, Lord, we will follow you. Now, it's a pattern in the scripture that many times when the Lord calls someone, he doesn't call someone that's not busy, but he usually calls someone that are in the middle of doing their job. They're busy with what they think is the right thing to do. And then the Lord comes and they, he calls them. And so therefore, you might say, I'm very busy, i got a lot of responsibilities, uh, i got targets that I need to reach, i got goals I need to achieve, and then the Lord comes and says, come, follow me. And so what we do, is we say to the Lord, Lord, I'm going to trust you, I know you will supply in all my needs, you will take care of me, and Lord, I'll do whatever you call me to do. And so today, that's what this... Uh, meditation is all about we're going to humble ourselves before the lord we're going to lay our lives down to him and we're going to say to the lord it's not about us or what we want it's about what you want and we're going to surrender our lives to you in uh, james chapter 4 verse 10 it says uh, when you humble yourself in the sight of the lord then he will lift you up and so we're going to humble ourselves before him jesus Today we hear your voice calling out to us that says, Come follow me. And we say, Lord, with an open heart, with a big smile, with com uh, being completely convinced that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And we say, Yes, Lord, we will follow you. And so, Lord, we humble ourselves before you. Lord, we kneel before your throne. Lord, we lay down our lives before you. And we say, Lord, uh, not our will, but your will be done. Lord, we set our desire on you. Lord, we set our affection, our attention, our focus. Every part of our life is focused on you. And so, Lord, we lay our lives down. And Lord, even as we lay our lives down, I just see how you just come with a bowl full of glory and full of fire and how you pour it out over our lives. And you say, I'm glorifying you. I'm making you holy, I'm washing you clean by my blood, and I'm giving you purpose and vision in this day. And the purpose and a vision that I give to you is for your future that I've planned for your lives. It's not the plan that you have for your own life, but it's my plan that I have for you, your life. And so, Lord, we receive the plan, we receive the purpose, and Lord, we just say, Lord, we're not going to follow according to the flesh, but we will be obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, thank you now that strategies are being released in the name of Jesus. Lord, that doors open, that there is favor on each of our lives as we humble ourselves and we say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord.